What's up, Gango? Welcome back to my channel. Basically, I randomly decided to go through the comments and see how many more comments I got between how to be a man and dear God. Ultimately, how to be a man won. If you guys haven't seen it, I will put that link somewhere on the screen. But today we're going to be reacting to dear God because a lot of y'all really requested that one as well. And honestly, it's one of those topics that I'm really interested in. So regardless if this one was voted a lot or not, I probably would have eventually got to this, but I will give you my thoughts on everything after we react react to this video. Now, as of lately, I like to keep my videos on the more happier note, but we'll see where this one takes us. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my future videos. And let's get into the reaction. Do you believe in God? This is insane. Pause. I have to acknowledge the fact that that was one of the sickest intro scenes to a music video I've ever seen in my entire life. From the visuals to the colors to the sound effects, I almost want to be like, can we not even get to a song right now? I want to watch a whole movie on this. I'll make this clear. I have a belief. But sometimes it gets hard. Dear God, there's a lot of questions that I have about the past And I don't want to hear it from a human, you made it So you're the last person that I'm ever gonna ask Tell me what's real, tell me what's fake Why is everything about you a debate? What's the point of love? Every time I showed it, I was broken and it's forced me just to only want to hate Why is it only one you but multiple religions? Why does every conversation end in a division? Why does everybody want to tell us how to live But they won't listen to the same damn message that they give Tell me how to feel, tell me what's wrong I tried to call, pick up the phone, come on my own Everybody says you coming back to man, why the hell's it taking so long? Why do I hurt? The whole entire scene of him just continuously walking while holding the cross and rapping is so good. And what strikes me the most so far is the part where he's saying, tell me what's real, tell me what's fake, why is everything about you a debate? So I'll get a little bit more into detail of what I mean by this later on in the video, but I used to question stuff all the time. Like, why this? And then why that? But one day you reach a point like me and multiple other people where you truly become a believer and I like to call this your testimony. But now my outlook on that is very different and it's like, what are we debating about? You know he's real and you just gotta trust the process. Why is there pain? Why does everything good always have to change? Why does everybody try to profit off another man's work then destroy it just for monetary gain? Tell me all you black, all you white. I don't even really care. I just really wanna know what's right. They've been saying one thing, but I've been looking in the book and it seems like they've been lying for my whole damn life. Tell me where I'm going. Is it heaven or hell? I just hope this message greets you well. Had a dream that I was walking with the devil. Don't remember how it feels, but I swear that I remember the smell. Look me right into my eye and told me everything I wanted could be mine if I gave up and decided to sell. But I said I'd rather die than get mine. Now I'm here. No fear, one man with a story to tell. Dear God, where were you when I needed it? When I fucked up and repeated it. When they set the bar and I exceeded it. My life is like a book that they've been judging by a cover, but I've never took the time to fucking read the shit. I remember telling you my goals and my dreams, but you didn't even answer, so I guess you didn't believe in it. I remember sitting with a gun to my head trying to ask you for some. I don't Damn. I just not like to get sad and emotional on camera. Ooh. That's why in the beginning of this I was like, yeah, I usually like to keep things a beat. Because <laughs> I knew just by the title of this that this one was going to eventually, inevitably, get me somewhere in this song. And that was it. Dear God, where were you when I needed it, when I fucked up and repeated it, when they set the bar and I exceeded it? Where were you? My life is like a book that they've been judging by a cover, but never took the time to fucking read the shit. Ooh! <laughs> Uh, this is just speaking for itself so hard right now. This has like over 50 million views, I think. And there's definitely gonna be like millions of us that relate to these lyrics. Like he's speaking it so precisely, it just goes to show the amount of pain that so many of us go through and how eventually in some point of life, it'll affect your faith to some degree. Not everybody, but that's what I take this as. I want religion, I need that spirituality. I don't want a church, I need people to call a family. I don't want to tell my sins to another sinner just because he's got a room and he went to some academy i don't want to read it in the book i want to hear it from you don't want to learn it in my school because they hiding the truth don't want to talk about it to another fucking human being and that's the only reason that i even step in this booth dear god how 
Or do I take this darkness and turn it into light? How do I believe in the concept where I speak to a man I've never seen with my own two eyes? How do I know that religion wasn't made just to separate the world and create a whole sky just to keep us in these chains while the rich get richer and the poor pray to you and perpetuate a lie? How do I know this ain't some big joke? How can I have faith when there is no hope? How the hell does one man have a hundred billion dollars and we still have people on the street that are broke? There's a lot of things I want to talk about and get off my chest. I can't sleep because the devil won't let me rest. I used to know a fucking pastor in a church and I can still hear the screams of the kids. Dear God, how do I take this darkness and turn it into light? How do I believe in a concept where I speak to a man I've never seen with my own two eyes? How do I know that religion wasn't made to just separate the world and create a whole disguise just to keep us in these chains while the rich get richer and the poor pray to you and perpetuate a lie? How the hell does one man have 100 billion dollars and we still have people on the street that are broke? These are amazing questions that I think a lot of us that have common sense have asked to ourselves before. I can't sleep because the devil won't let me rest. I used to know a fucking pastor in a church and I can still hear the screams of the kids he would fucking molest. <sighs> Alright, this one's a lot to take in, but it's so true. Dear God! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I'm supposed to fear you, but you ain't said shit. So maybe it's you who actually fears me. I don't know the answer, I just wanna see it clearly. So many lies and a thousand different theories. All I wanna know is who really made religion, cause I know it wasn't you, but don't nobody believe me. No more lies, no more death. Bring back King, bring back X. Please, dear God, let their souls rest. Protect who's left and watch their steps. Dear God. To ask you again, I just hope that you know that I'm still a believer, so I'll end this all by saying amen. Okay, first time hearing Dear God by Dax. Something that's hard to listen to if you're especially somebody that does find yourself questioning these things often, like why things pan out the way that they pan out in the world and why terrible things may happen to good people and the devil, it is just so much to understand. And me reacting to this video is not trying to push on any thoughts onto any other people out there. You may believe what you wanna believe in. Me, I believe in God and the devil, demons, ghosts, even aliens. Yep. I probably actually should not say this in this video before I disappear or... If I'm being completely honest, I grew up believing and then throughout hard points of life, I slowly started losing my faith. And by me saying hard parts of life, I know there's gonna be at least one person that's thinking, oh my God, she's had it so hard, blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying that I was locked up in a dog cage, which I'm sure has happened, unfortunately, to somebody out there and that's awful. I went through a really, really, really big health scare this past year. And I don't want to get too much into details about it because this video is not about me. But I'm just saying how I can relate and my thoughts on what Dax is speaking about in this video is that no matter how hard it is to understand certain things or to believe and have faith, he is real. And sometimes it takes something absolutely awful or terrible to happen in your life for you to realize that or some sort of experience, not even necessarily something that's terrible or traumatizing, your belief can absolutely change in an instant, in just a second, and feel God and feel his presence, and oof, it's a huge topic that we can get into that I won't be getting into in this video. But again, believe what you want to believe. But in case you're wondering, yes, I am doing a lot better now, thank God. We all just got to take care of ourselves, our mental health, our physical health, and love ourselves, and that's the most important thing that we can do. If I were to rate this song 1 out of 10, it's a 10. The music video, the lyrics, his voice, it was all just really great. There you go. Once again, you have seen me cry a little bit on camera. I want to know your guys' thoughts on Dear God by Dax. Drop it down in the comments below. If y'all have any recommendations on future videos that I can react to, also drop that down in the comments below. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see y'all in the next video.